Prior to the modern digital audio workstation, the recording studio was a place primarily for elite musicians and technicians. But today, every one of us can use the same software that the best engineers and producers use every day. For software ranging in cost from $50 to $600, anyone can access technical power that used to be impossible to access at any price. Tape-based recording is linear, meaning that you build your recording on a timeline from the beginning to the end. Edits are destructive because they involve actually cutting tape, but the DAW offers non-linear recording, where anything can be recorded anytime and placed, moved, cut, copied, and pasted anywhere along the timeline. And DAW edits are non-destructive. In fact, on a modern DAW, it takes a very concerted and intentional effort just to create a destructive edit. The DAW that's best for one person isn't necessarily the DAW that's best for another. When assessing the best DAW, it's helpful to ask these questions. What's your creative style? Are you a songwriter or a string arranger? Do you record live bands or make beats with virtual instruments? What's your budget? Acoustic is Mixcraft is reasonably priced and has a lot of great features, but it's a PC-only program. Studio One from Personas costs more, but it's been catching the attention of many audio professionals and is written on new code with an amazing amount of power and a very user-friendly interface. Avid's Pro Tools Perpetual License is at the top of the price range, but it's been around long enough to have matured into the DAW of choice for most commercial studios. Propellerhead's Reason, along with the rest of the DAW manufacturers, offers a range of pricing depending on the feature set. Although sharing some similarities with other DAWs, Reason stands alone with its flexible virtual instruments, patching, routing, and workflow options. Cubase, Elements, Artist, and Pro let the user naturally flow from the streamlined yet powerful Cubase Elements to the more robust Artist version and ultimately to Cubase Pro with a feature set designed to help musicians capture their creativity on the Mac or Windows platform. Cakewalk offers a wide range of software options, from the very streamlined and efficient music creator to Sonar's Artist Professional and Platinum versions. This PC-only DAW software is filled with features and has been a longtime favorite of Windows users around the world. Are you using a Mac or a PC? Some software will work on Macs and PCs, some will only work on one or the other. What's your musical background? For example, if you have a traditional music background, notation might be very helpful in creating and editing musical passages. But if you can't read music, a solid notation system isn't a feature you'll care about. What about DAW software that's free? There are really three main types of free software. DAW software written using open source code is meant to be free and will remain free, but it lacks support, compatibility with the professional world, and a reliable upgrade path to stay current with the industry. Gateway DAW software, such as Pro Tools First and Studio One Free, offer users a way to get used to a world-class DAW by providing a minimal feature set but within the framework of the commercial versions. These free DAWs don't time out and they offer an excellent chance to see if the graphical user interface is intuitive and if it suits the user's creative style. Virtually all manufacturers offer free trial or demo versions, which are usually fully functional, but they time out at the end of 30 days or so, causing the user to either purchase the DAW or lose it. What's your technical background? One user might love following a maze of endless features. Other users might only be interested in visually stringing together MIDI and audio loops to build a beat, and there are quite a few who want the technology to be as transparent and well hidden as possible. How much collaboration do you do with other musicians? Do you work with musicians who live in another city, country, or state? Do you share files? Does everyone come to you to work or do you collaborate online over long distances? If you're collaborating a lot with the same people, it's very helpful if everyone is using the same software. What types of projects do you work on? Do you do small projects of less than 16 tracks but you want the highest possible audio quality? Do you record large groups with lots of overdubs? Do you record classical ensembles? Do you just write songs and you need high quality, simple demos to pitch your tunes? Will you be playing a lot of your own music or will you be recording other people? These are all important questions to ask because the perfect DAW for one person might be an insurmountable stumbling block to another. Contact your Hal Leonard rep to receive helpful and up-to-date recommendations for matching current DAW software with customers' needs. A digital audio workstation includes the software and the fundamental hardware connected to it. Most importantly, the interface. The DAW can be fed by microphones and can deliver the output to monitor speakers, but at the core is the software interface combo. Functionally, if someone is working at a digital audio workstation, that implies that he or she is operating the engine that drives the studio. 
The smallest DAW consists of a laptop and DAW software using the onboard inputs and outputs. In this case, the computer's I.O. is acting as the interface. If a mic is connected to a laptop mic input and the audio is monitored on headphones from the laptop's headphone output, that not only classifies as a DAW, but by classic pre-1980s recording studio standards, it offers many times the amount of processing and instrument options, plus loads of sound shaping and effects creating options that weren't even possible in the best of classic analog studios. Even the smallest DAW setup like this is capable of creating world-class music, especially using virtual instruments and loops. Types of DAWs Computer Software DAWs this is the primary category of digital audio workstation for normal application. MIDI-only recording software was first on the scene in the early and mid-80s. It took a while for manufacturers to include audio and loop-based recording in their software feature sets, but today, because of the competitive marketplace, virtually all software manufacturers have grown together in their feature sets. The primary difference between modern DAWs is the look and feel of the graphical user interface and the different ways they accommodate creative workflows. Modern DAWs are expected to record and edit audio, record and edit MIDI data, and provide an on-screen mixer that can be accessed by an external controller, graphic waveform editing, all processor types, nearly endless routing potential, virtually unlimited tracks, or unlimited tracks for that matter, export options for all the major audio file formats, capacity to use third-party plugins, and they should be able to connect to and sync with a variety of other audio and video playback devices. The Integrated DAW. An integrated DAW contains the hardware mixer, proprietary software, digital recorder, data storage device, and all of the inputs and outputs on the same piece of hardware. They typically offer effects and dynamics processing and signal routing, but don't have a way to use third-party plugins. These devices make sense for some applications, but they lack the flexibility and adaptability over time of a computer-based system, so they've become less popular. Mobile Device-Based DAWs. The mobile device-based DAW is much like any other computer-based DAW because it still has a computer at its core with software in control of the recording and manipulation of digital audio, MIDI, and plugins. The difference, and the reason it probably should at least be its own subcategory, is that the supporting OS is written for cell phones and tablets. The number of apps available for iOS and Android is staggering, and the tools that are designed to attach to these devices are minimalistic in their physical size but very powerful in function. Plugins have become extremely important to the modern DAW. In many ways, they are what give the software its unique personality. Each manufacturer has its own set of proprietary plugins for everything from EQ to reverb to signal analysis. There's ample power in these proprietary plugins to create an interesting and polished production. However, it's often the third party plugin manufacturers that can help the user take a DAW to the next creative level. Join us in DAWs 102, where we discuss categories and types of plugins, virtual instruments, rewiring reason into Pro Tools or Studio One, and controllers. Now it's time to take the test that accompanies this video. And be sure to fill out the contact info so we can keep in touch. We'll alert you when new Tech Talk training tutorials are released. We're in the process of creating a complete series of training videos covering topics including interfaces, microphones, digital audio workstations, mobile recording, wireless technology, monitor systems, and more. And we'll even be creating several product-specific tutorials. If you have comments or suggestions for helpful topics, please email us at techtalk at